Yo everyone, this is the T-Load hitch mount from uh, Rhino Rack. Makes it easy for your tall SUVs or just tall vehicles to get your kayak or anything that you want canoe on top. So this is what comes in the box. Non-slip mat, it's nice. Uh, so you can put the nose or the back of your kayak on here so it doesn't slip while you uh, put it onto the mount. Some instructions. Uh, here are the mounts of the part of the T-Rack. Uh, just some random tools and stuff. They give you everything so you're able to screw down and bolt down everything. It's nice. Here's one of the parts of the loader that goes straight into the hitch. And overall, it took about 20 to 30 minutes to install. Had to go back and forth a little bit just because the uh, instruction weren't, weren't the best. So, Alright, so this is just a little rubber uh, guardrail. Kind of goes in between, kind of cushions your kayak and all that stuff. Uh, you actually want to put this a little later. Put the screw bolts in first. You can see the holes right there, right down the center. So you put the screws and then uh, you'll later put this uh, protection piece of rubber. But you can do it now and just uh, cut it to shape and then remove it. And then after you put the screws in and then uh, you'll have it all measured out correctly. So these are the side mounts. Uh, these are adjustable depending on the width of your kayak. But it's going to gather some of the screws and then uh, it kind of just sandwiches in between the the Rhino Vortex bar is what they call it. Do the same on the other side. Just going to tell you some features about it. Uh, this is adjustable height and tilt position. Uh, maximum carries around 132 pounds, so it's great for the heaviest of kayaks and even canoes. Uh, it comes with the Rhino Vortex bar, but it also can work with uh, heavy duty crossbars as well. It fits uh, two inch hitches. It comes with the load sling kit. A lot of people say this sling kit right here I'm showing you does wear out during time because your kayak does rub against it. But it, you need it just so it can get enough grip and hold your kayak while you're pushing it up. So you can see these are adjustable width right there. Let me put it on this side. So now we're going to actually do the part that goes into the hitch and that will raise up to that vortex crossbar. Alright, so this part right here is where the load bar will actually sit on. Obviously it's the shape of a T, so it's a T loader. And here put your corresponding nut, washer, and bolt. And these are, you can see how it's adjustable. It's almost like a rubber in the middle and just squeezes it as you tighten that bolt and they also give you an option to drill and make your own custom fitting so makes it nice and quick every time you go out and just put a locking pin in and they do provide an extra locking pin if you decide to drill your custom fit but for me I didn't decide to drill a custom fit I just wanted to use the bolt squeeze right here that squeezes it and uh, maybe later on if I like it I'll uh, drill a hole in to fit my SUV. So we just tighten this. And then the next step, and this is the part that goes into your hitch. And you can see the little metal bracket that's kind of tilted out. That's the actual stop brake where when this thing slams down it won't hit the ground, it'll actually stop right there. So you can adjust how far you want the T-loader to stop, whether you want it a really far angle or a very shallow angle. And that just depend on your customization on the, on the length of your kayak and so on. So we're going to load it up in 2 inch hitch, comes with the pin for your car as well. It's a very unique 
pin because it's a threaded pin and I think they did that so they can you can only use uh, their locking pin if you decide to buy that but it doesn't come with a locking pin but it comes with a general screw pin which is I've never seen before so you're going to want to make it a little higher than your uh, roof rack so we'll adjust this as need be it's pretty simple and then it just squeezes the bar when you tighten it and here's the weird awkward locking pin without a key you can buy one that actually has a key on it alright so you screw this through and there's a little locking pin over here. If you want the extra key, that is optional. It's about $30 to $35. I'll put the link in below in the description to the Amazon link. So here are the little things you're going to need to put through the rails before you put the rubber grommet through the groove. So you're going to want to put it through that track and make it line up with that hole. So your, your screw will have something to bite. Alright, and I'll show you guys here, slide it through so it lines up with the hole. And this will be able to just so you can mount it to the T-loader to the itself. Alright, so now I'm just going to mount it. And it does come with a special little Allen wrench that's hollow in the middle. And I'll show you guys. See how it's hollow right there, it has a little button in there. And yeah, it's just to prevent, uh, it's kind of like an anti-theft thing, but in all honesty, uh, if you really want to take this, it wouldn't be too hard. But as a rack, these are super affordable, around $2.99. Free shipping from Amazon. These are the side loaders, just kind of brace your kayak in, adjust it as the width of your kayak need be. Super easy to use, has little wheels on the bottom that you can just tighten up and loosen and adjust to your kayak. And then you want to center it on your car SUV, of course. And here is my 55 pound kayak. Show you guys how easy it is. See how the rope is touching the bar? You don't want that because it's not going to give it any traction. So you actually want to tighten that uh, rope up a little bit just so it doesn't touch the bottom of the bar. But it is still doable. Actually, as you see, now the rope is not touching the bar. So as your kayak gets wider. And... At first it is nerve wracking, you think the bar is going to hit your car or etc, but now you can lock the bar on the bottom so it doesn't bang down when you're driving. Oh, and you can see how that can wear out over time. Here's unloading it. Alright, that's pretty much it. And just lock it up in the loading position and when you're back uh, from your trip or you're outing on the water and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching.